Hello everyone, it's Chris Texera. Let's play another game of the Settlers of Catan. All right, we are here in the two spot. Oh, thank goodness, especially after that last uh, Catan Universe game where we were in the third spot. That did not work out too well for us. Uh, this time, we are feeling okay. So, we've got a couple of nice positions we could potentially take. There's this 845, looks pretty good. There's this... 843. I mean, wood's a little scarce. Wheat's definitely scarce. And ore, obviously, is always pretty opportune for us to get. Um, question is do we want to risk going to this three for one port? I kind of think there could be some shenanigans there. We have to be real careful about it. There is this 8 4. I'm just trying to think of where, where else there's a nice port. Um, because this, this could get plowed. I'm a little worried about that, but he's also got one. Um, we're gonna take this. I'm a little weary about it. Where do we go? Need brick. Need sheep. We're gonna risk it. We're gonna risk it. That, that's a very dangerous road. Very dangerous road. Um, we are risking it. I don't know how smart that is. Maybe we should have gone north. We're going to find out pretty soon if this was worth it, though. Um, so I do think purple... I have a hard time believing... I mean, purple could take this. But if, like, this 10... This is a great spot. That's still available. There's still like this 9, 10, 11 that's available. There's some, there's a lot of good spots in the middle of the board here. Um, so I do think this is one of those where maybe we get lucky and this doesn't get taken from us. So we'll see. It's dicey. I mean, he's also in a spot, except this is a lot safer because the weed is a lot less scarce on this board. So I feel like it's a little less likely this gets taken. Whereas I, I kind of see this as a possible you know code red here so we'll see oh I mean, it's a risk it's a risk i feel like we played enough katana universe to know that a lot of the players on here aren't necessarily rational and they might not do what you expect them to do so i'm kind of thinking it's like 25 percent it gets taken but we'll see i mean i wasn't expecting the com or if the computer takes over like in our last game that ruined us we had a 8-4 wood port for the taking computer puts their spot on the 8-4 wood port Thanks, computer. Or uh, 8 4 uh, 3 4 one port, excuse me. Thanks. Thanks again, computer. Jeez. Ruining our game. Okay. So they go... Uh-oh. Oh. oh. I, I had a little bit of a heart palpitation there, thinking that the uh, computer was going to take that. All right, where's the purple go? So this is, this is going to kind of be the question. And given their settlements, they very well might take that 8, eight 10 unfortunately. They very well might take it. They do not. What a break. That is huge. Huge break for us. Okay. Well. This is interesting. So what do we do here? We're kind of in a tough spot here. Because this guy could come in... This is a question of what do we want? I think we do want everything. It stops purple. The problem is, I think it's highly likely they go here, which I'm not crazy about. But I do think it's worth taking this. Yeah, we can't give them it. All right, we're going to take the 9, 10, 11. We're going to point up. I think I think the 4-9 gets taken here by this player. But, I mean, this is one of those where it's either we go on the 4-11-9, we give them two, you know, two, uh, uh, 4-11, yeah, and they do. We give them two wheat spots? I don't know. And a sheep spot? I don't know. That That's rough. I, I kind of like this a little bit better. I think it's a little bit more balanced than we get that... Uh, good sheep production or wheat production and we could potentially play a good or wheat sheep game 
Uh, we're gonna hold. I've I've got to do better at holding early sometimes, especially when we're in a good position to take a city. I've got to do that better because I think sometimes I buy a card a little too hastily for defense. In this situation, though, there's a lot of people with the same kind of setup. So I think there's going to be a lot of card buying this game. Uh, the blue player is probably the only one who's not really in a position to do that. But again, they can probably move. Hopefully the purple guy plays. Purple, Purple's in a good spot. I mean, again, they have a 8 sheep, a 6 wheat, and a 9 ore. It's pretty strong. Hopefully they're still playing here. Um, I think we're also okay. I mean, I don't like our wheat positions nearly as much as the 6, but at least we have, you know, production-wise, this is just as good as the 6, um, having the two of them. But, of course, he's got this 3 as well, which gives him an extra 2 pips. So, man, I hope, I hope Purple's still playing. Otherwise, this is going to be a little one-on-one -on -one game. Which, um, you know, is fine. Do I like our one-on-one -on -one game chances against this player, though? Hmm. They can move. We can't. That's a little dicey. Uh-oh. They do leave. Okay. Well, it's a it's a one-on-one -on -one war here, folks. So let's see what we can get. All right. We do get the ore. Oof. I'm going to hold out for the city. See, we can't get it. Oh, good. It, that's big. Okay. They get a city. All right. Good thing we did. Um, good thing we did. Eight. And we get a wood. Okay. Uh, we're going to... Can we get a, a brick for a sheep, maybe? No. Okay. We're going to take a city. So we match, we're, we're, we're kind of matched with them right now, which I think is actually okay. Because they have a four wheat, we have a five or Right now, ours is better. Um, because again, they, they're only getting one where we're getting two. So we'll take that. We really want, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take that computer. We can get a card from that. So I like that. We can get a card. I like the cards. Don't like these bricks though. We gotta be careful. I don't want to get plowed here. That would not be good. Um, we're gonna go on the nine. Got one. Buy a card. Knight. Perfect. We really wanted this brick. Uh oh. Oh, it didn't hit us. Nice. That's huge. That's huge. All right. We held on to our brick. What a what a break. Ten. All right, got a sheep. Europe, what did they just, Europe plenty of four. What did they just do? <laughs> they just did nothing. <laughs> the year of plenty for nothing, is that what happened? Yep, the year of plenty for nothing, okay. Um, oh man, I hope this isn't a server issue. <sighs> Or the game dies. I don't mind playing one-on-one -on -one games, but, you know. This is one of those where I actually like our setup. But, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I saw the reconnect button there. It's not reassuring. Yeah, this looks like a server fail here, folks. I think, uh, I think pink is done. And I think we're going to win by default, unfortunately, just because server issues. Uh-oh, they're able to rejoin. Let's see what happens. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe the game will keep going. But, you know, it is amazing how frequent this kind of situation is. So we'll see. I remain hopeful this will actually happen. So, don't want to lose more ELO. We'll see. We wait. Oh.
Oh boy, I really hope this isn't one of these where it never comes back. And this is a kind of a quit fest, but looks like it's going to be the way. I really hate losing ELO on games like this. And this is kind of like, you know, where, again, the ELO in Gatan Universe is, is nice. It gives you some sense of how good a player is, but, I mean, the truth is we've lost so much ELO. We've also gained ELO from this. It, it can really be kind of a kind of a doomed if you do, doomed if you don't situation. So this is not very reassuring. Uh, I think we're just going to quit it here and see what happens. Yep. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.